Exhilarating sport that requires strength, poise, dedication and a dash of fearlessness. I am, of course, talking about water skiing. Of course I am. One young man from Hull is climbing to the top of that world. All the more surprising when you learn that when he was 11, Will Oliver was in a wheelchair suffering from rheumatoid arthritis. He went to Hull Grammar and to Hull College. Now he's at the University of Louisiana on a water skiing scholarship. Now, he got a flight over to America yesterday. He then had to make a long road trip of 13 hours from whichever airport he landed in to Louisiana. I spoke to him while he was on that long car journey uh, to start his third year at the university. Mainly through my, um, my parents. My mum used to ski every day. So when I was a kid, I was watching that every day and I wanted to... I wanted to get involved. Uh, as you say, you, you know, your love for it began with your mum watching her. You always wanted to ski for your country. So it must have been a real blow when you were actually put in a wheelchair by rheumatoid arthritis when you were 11. What were those years like? Well, before I, before I had it, I, was, I skied a little bit, but I didn't really do tournaments or anything. But then one, once I was in a wheelchair, like, I didn't want to be sitting around in a wheelchair all summer. Um, watching other kids do it, so that gave me determination to to push myself to try and walk again. And then, as soon as I was able to walk, I was having physio and started running. Got back on the skis as soon as I can, and I had to catch everyone else up. I mean, it gave me motivation to do it every day and catch everybody. Really, just for people who don't really know about rheumatoid arthritis, just to explain a little about what it is, what are the symptoms. We didn't know what it was at first. Like my, it was hard to walk. Like I sprained an ankle or something. Both my ankles went stiff, and it was just excruciating pain to, to even stand on my feet. But it's something that, uh, as a child, it can go away, and for you, luckily, it did. Yeah, I got lucky on the with the doctors I was with and with the medication, and it seemed to work really well for me. Since then, as you say, with determination and the help of the doctors, you were back on your feet. Not just back on your feet, but back on skis and going from strength to strength. You're off to France in September to represent Britain in the Under-21 World Championships. But you've had loads of triumphs before that as well. You're on the way to university now for your third year at the University of Louisiana on a water skiing scholarship. I mean, that must have been tremendous when you got that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really know where I wanted to go to university and then this... This offer came up, and it was, for me, must, a must-do, really. Um, I couldn't miss the opportunity. Tell me a little bit about the World Championships in France. What are they going to involve? For Great Britain, there's going to be four four of us in the team. From the preliminary round, everybody's score on the team counts towards the team, a team medal or team positioning. Um, and then finals is for our own individual, um, well, self, really. This is clearly a huge part of your life. But you're actually studying construction management at the University of Louisiana. Where do you see yourself? I mean, what do you think the future holds? Are you going to be a professional water skier or is your future in construction? After I finish university, I think I'll try and see how far I can go as a professional water skier. I mean, the prize money is only for the top few. And you have to be in the top top three in the world, really, to be able to live off it. So that's, that's my aim. And then I've got backup as construction management if, it, if it, for some reason it doesn't work out. Me to be a yeah, well, very wise, but the best of luck, uh, Will, yeah. with the championships and with the future. I hope you'll keep in touch with us. Let us know how the championships go. They are on the uh, between the 1st and the 4th of September in Merzac in the southwest of France. So we'll be thinking of you. You let us know how you get on. I will do. That was Will Oliver, a professional, well, he's not a professional water skier, but he's a very successful water skier, talking to me earlier on today. And as I said, he's going to be taking part in the World Championships in the south of France in September. Very best of luck to him, and he's going to let us know how he goes on those. It's coming up to 6 o'clock on BBC Radio Humberside. I'll be back again tomorrow at 5.